Well, the big question this morning is how is this year's Chargers team going to perform this year? And are we in store for more blackouts? Yeah, let's not forget about the Padres who are locked in a battle for first place. Joining us to talk about all of it is a San Diego icon, Lee Hacksaw Hamilton, host of Sports Watch on Double X 1090 from 3 to 7 every night. Been here in San Diego for 25 years. Uh, also, those of us in L.A. grew up listening to you as well. It's uh, a real honor to have you yeah, here on the show. It. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you for the invitation. Um, so what, what should we expect today? Well, I think the Chargers will sledgehammer Jacksonville. Uh, last Monday night's loss was just appalling to lose to Kansas City. Uh, Kansas City is one of the least talented teams in the roster, but, you know, historically it's the way you play the day you play. And they got ambushed, and progressively as the game went on, Kansas City got tougher and tougher to deal with, and Phillip Rivers did not handle the emotions of the game, and some of his guys didn't play very well. But that, that was last Monday. This is today, and I think they probably pound Jacksonville and get off on a, on a roll. I I projected they're going to be 10-6 and six this season. I think they'll probably be 4-2 and two out of the gate before they move into the teeth of the schedule. Well, that's yeah, why they call it any given Sunday. Let's talk about the blackout issue for yeah. a second. 7,000 tickets still needed to be sold for this game, and we understand 8,000 are available for the next Chargers home game. Is this going to be a trend we're going to see this season? Yeah, I think it is, and uh, unfortunately, I think it's a byproduct of the economy more than it is anything else. It is still mega expensive to go to NFL games. I do think, though, there is real resentment right now against the Chargers organization, Spanos and A.J. Smith, for the handling or mishandling of the holdouts, and, and the fact that the team has, has kind of disappointed in the month of January. But that being said, understand how good a franchise this is this team is 73 and 50 since AJ Smith took over as general manager they've got a bright great young quarterback so I think it's more economy than it is anything else and it's not just in San Diego I think as the season progresses you'll see a lot more blackouts around the league that great record though but hasn't necessarily taken it all the way every year people talk about that this is the year do you think that there is some resentment left over from the playoff loss last year I think year? disappointment is more the word because it's happened so often in the month of January it's still an upper echelon team. They're still one game away from going to the AFC Championship. I still think as long as that quarterback is standing in Phillip Rivers, they got a chance to still be a Super Bowl contender. But that being said, I think also at times you think, gee, the window of opportunity is closing. They're compiling age. You've had a lot of injuries the last two years to the team. A lot of new names on the roster this year and a lot of injuries and then a couple of holdouts. Now, earlier before the season started, head coach Norv Turner said this is the best team he's seen in the four seasons that he's ha been there as head coach. Well, what do you think of that? Separate the rhetoric, the coach speak. Let's just deal with the reality. Sean Merriman is not the player he used to be, and Sean makes everything else better defensively. Granted, all all rosters go through transition. As hard as it was to see Ladeni and Tomlinson leave, let's be realistic. Ryan Matthews is a star in the making. He's he fantastic. Is, he's more complete, more complete as a rookie now than LT was when LT came out of TCU. Uh, they've still got issues. They got issues at left tackle. I think they got issues in the defensive front. It's not a complete football team right now. Their best opportunity, in all honesty, might have been the year they went 14 and two, or, the, or Norv Turner's first year. I don't know that the arrow is necessarily pointing up right now. Let's talk about another team that's having some struggles right now after an incredible season that nobody really anticipated, yeah. which is, of course, our San Diego Padres. A half game uh, lead for first place right now, but the last few weeks we've seen the team kind of deflate a bit. Can this team stay in it all the way? Do they have enough gas in the uh, in the tank? Well, I think their pitching staff's running on fumes, and I've said that for the last two weeks on Double X, and I'm really concerned about that. Uh, they had a, they've had a phenomenal run. To be in first place from May 6th up until where we are this weekend is quite an accomplishment considering low payroll, not a big hitting ball club. Mm -hmm. They've lived off great pitching. I don't know whether they can hold on. I will tell you, though, they're pretty resilient. But Colorado is just on a tremendous roll. And San Francisco's got more bats and maybe at this point more arms than San Diego. So we got two weeks left. I don't know. I'm hoping they can to get to postseason. But even if they get to postseason, will they have enough gas left in the tank, as you say, to get into postseason? And they don't match up well with St. Louis. And they don't match up well with Philadelphia. And they're going to probably wind up playing one of them if, yeah. they, if they get in. Well, not matching up well with St. Louis is probably an understatement. Yeah. based on the way they play, especially in St. Louis, although finally broke the streak, but had lost 11 straight games uh, Games there. But really amazing, though, what they have done this year yeah. all the way. Lee Haxley hamilton thank you so much My for pleasure. joining us thank this you morning. Thank you very much. On X1090 Radio. We're going to hear you during the week. Monday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I'll be talking to my listeners and your viewers. Perfect. Sounds right. great. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. For more information on how you can listen to Lee, go to sandiego6.com. Just click on our link, Hot Topics.